In this tutorial, we are going to use Global Mapper in order to download a high resolution image that we can use in any other GIS software, like for example here in ArcGIS. Welcome to GeoCarto, a channel dedicated to GIS, cartography and geoscience. So subscribe if you want to get more tutorials. So after opening Global Mapper, we'll go ahead and specify the projection that we want to work in. So to do this, go to this configuration button click on it and go to projection from here you can specify the projection that you want to work with for me i will just let it to geographic latitude and longitude click on apply and then ok so there is two ways to, to go with this so the first method is using a kmz file to identify the work area that we want to download the image for so in order to do this you will need to have a KMZ file for your work area and then click on open data file or click on this open data file button right here so I will click on open data files then navigate to your work folder and then click on KMZ file and then click open so as you can see I use this rectangle in order to identify my work area so I can directly download the image of this area and then I will click on this connect to online data and from here you can choose a set of data for us we will use this word imagery click on it and then click on connect and wait for it so here we go as you can see we got directly to our work area so in case you don't have a KMZ file for your work area, you can go ahead and click on connect to online data directly and here come and choose word imagery and just click on connect. Now you should go ahead and zoom into your work area and just zoom in until you find your area that you are interested in. But this is a more complicated way of doing things so I will just go ahead and use my KMZ file. I will go ahead again and click on add data and I will go ahead and click on my rectangle and I will click on open and here I will go ahead and zoom into my rectangle by right clicking on it and go to zoom to and the software will go directly to this area so as you can see the resolution is pretty good on this image it depends on the area that you are located in generally speaking the Images coming from Europe and the United States are of a good resolution. So let's imagine that I want to download this image. So I will go ahead and click on file and then go to export and then click on export raster image format. From this menu, you can choose any format that you want. For me, I will go ahead with the Juchi format because it preserves the coordinates of my image and they will get a georeferenced image that I can work with in any other GIS software. So I will select Geochief and they will click on OK. So for these parameters you can let everything to default. The most important one is this export bounds. So we don't want to export all loaded data. We can for example click on this draw a box and we can for example choose to draw a box on this area and then we click on OK. So this is a way to specify the bounds of your image or you can click on all data visible on screen or you can use a layer bounds, click on it and you can use for example the KMZ file that you uploaded for me it's rect, which is a rectangle, select it and then click on OK. As you can see when you select your KMZ file, you get this yellow rectangle illustrating the area that you are going to download the image from. So I'm pretty happy with this and I will just click on OK. Here you can specify the path of your work folder and then you can name your image and then click on save and then click on yes and just wait for it. For my case this is a very big area so it might take a little bit of time because there are a lot of tiles in my image so just wait until the, the end of the export now let's go ahead and import our geochief image into 
ArcGIS for example, click on add data, navigate to your work folder and then click on your image and then click on add, click on yes. Here we got our image. I hope that you got some useful information from this tutorial. If so, please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials.